a win-win strategy for entering with small money, uh, low risks and fast profit. You're gonna make sure yourself. You're on the channel Dash a Trade. We get started. Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back. I'm so glad to see you here. And today it's a half professional trading which won't suit everyone. But this is what makes strategies interesting because if you can apply the knowledge you've got today on your daily trading, then trust me, you'll be enjoying your awesome results just every day. So if you understand how the market works, how oscillator works, how the price is being formed on the chart, then be sure to watch this video to the end. I'm sure you'll be thrilled by today's results. So I used to make a review on this strategy on my channel, but today the goal is so good, we'll try to make $10,000. I mean increase my deposit by $10,000. So trading is risky, but very, very interesting. Today we need only one indicator. This is our favorite RSI, but we use it not as a standard indicator showing our result or overbought states, but we're looking for divergences between the chart and this oscillator. Let's quickly manage it. We'll make it a little thicker so it's easier to watch it. Okay. That's it, great. Uh, you can be surprised, uh, but sometimes when the chart, for example, is growing, indicator, a resize later may be falling conversely. Uh, this is uh, what's called divergence, and today we're looking for such moments to trade. It happens not so often, but they work out really good, so let's find such example and we'll trade on it. Look, guys, a uh, quite good example. What do I want to show you here? We point attention to the growing chart and oscillator. Why the chart's a growing one? We see the maximum local values are increasing and the local minimum values are increasing. In other words, extremums are constantly increasing. Uh, here's a clear upper structure on the chart and we can draw a trend line through several peaks, for example. Well, it's not a trend line, but a resistance line. But point attention to oscillator. Here is a peak on the chart. And here is a peak on oscillator. And here the third peak on the chart. Here the third peak on oscillator. If we point attention on RSI, our oscillator, we see it standing still or slowly starts to decrease. So the chart is growing. There is an uptrend on the chart, but at the same time, on our side, we don't grow anywhere. In such moments, divergences appear. So what matters for us is the chart growing and oscillator falling, for example, or vice versa, the chart's falling, oscillator is growing. One of those two cases pleases us and in such cases we trade. <clears throat> okay. What matters is remembering the chart's following oscillator sooner or later. So if the chart is growing and oscillator is falling, we trade with lower. If the oscillator is growing vice versa and the chart's falling, we're trading with higher. So let's find the first trading case and move to practice. So guys, what's obviously seen here? Um, okay, let's get back to divergence. Uh, let's zoom the chart in and try to analyze the case. I take vertical lines for purpose, so I show you where the first peak on the chart and first peak on indicator are located. We also take the second line and place them between two lines. What's up here? Okay, the chart formed uh, two peaks and if we draw a line through those two peaks, We'll see the chart updates the maximum value, so it's a rising situation. But at the same time, on indicator, uh, we clearly see, uh, let's take those two lines, we clearly see that the second peak is lower than the first peak. <clears throat> but at the same uh, second peak is higher on the chart than the first peak. In total, there is such a case as divergence. On the chart, the price is growing, and if we draw the line through the peaks and an oscillator, the chart is falling. As I've already said, the main chart, sooner or later, follows oscillator. 
but as an oscillator, it's a downward tendency. We opened the bet for $1,000 with lover and earned quickly. My time frame is one minute, the Japanese candles are one minute once, so it's all fine. I hope I showed you a good example where you should sell short. Okay, we point attention to the fact that we always consider local peaks located next to each other. So we shouldn't draw it somehow like that and try to find divergence here. The space is too much. We take peaks that are approximately close to each other, but at the same time um, on oscillator, this chart looks like that. For example, we move on. Guys, let's see the next deal. This time it deals with higher. It's the same principle, but vice versa. We check two peaks on the chart. Uh, this time there are not two peaks, but two minimum values. We draw the line and see that the second bottom is lower than the first bottom. But at the same time, if you look at RSI oscillator, we notice there is such an upward structure remaining. I think it will be easier to see it like that that here, for example, touched uh, the third line and here we didn't do it yet. So we have a right for some reaction, some retracement, as uh, here we're forming a peak, I hope, I mean local minimum value, not a peak, but at the same time on oscillator this local value is not updated yet. As here, as the charts advances oscillator a little, we can conclude some upward motion will happen in the end. For now, there wasn't any strong movement, but I think if this candle is closed as green now, then the reversive case will be finally started and some growth will be started thanks to this divergence. What are the main mistakes when looking for divergences? For example, you may point attention to this divergence. So here is an upward movement on oscillator. There is an upward movement as well. Uh, but this upward movement is more sharp than this one. So this is some flowing growth and here is more uh, clearly expressed. But guys, it's not like that. At both this and this thing, uh, even if it's some insignificant growth, it is still growth. So we're looking for particular cases where the chart and oscillator diverge, so the chart is supposed to grow and oscillator to fall or vice versa. So guys, let's enter a bet with lower here. Well, no extra comments here. You see yourself clearly, I think. It's just we draw a line through several peaks. For example, here the peak is not formed yet, but if there is a red candle here, this is a fully formed peak. Uh, we see the charts growing and at the same time as later is falling in some way. So on this peak we haven't updated the maximum value uh, we had here uh, on the touch with 70% zone. We'll see what will happen. In fact, we don't wait for another peak to be formed and bet in advance uh, 13 seconds left. Let's just watch the results. So guys, I'm satisfied with the entry point which we've got. Now we can keep trading with lower as the peak was formed and we didn't update the maximum value as well. Okay, it means RSI is still in downward motion. Um, even though it doesn't look like downward motion, it's not a growing one which is happening on the chart right now. So we open another bed with lower. I'll switch to the, the chart of 5 second one for you. Let's see what will happen. So guys, a very beautiful fall happens. The market starts to restore slowly, but it is not an obstacle for our profit. We earn great money. So we go on. Well, we're observing the next case. It's pretty interesting. Okay, all of the peaks are located very close to each other and we can track the divergence on the chart and divergence on a slater. Maybe if we do it like that, it's much more clear uh, that we haven't updated the maximum value here yet. And here we've been higher than this maximum value for a long time. 
So we're waiting for small retracement, roll back, and uh, the deal is with lower for one minute. Let's see. So guys, we get another profit with no problem. For now, we've been really lucky. Not a single loss for today. Literally a couple more deals and we'll accomplish the goal. So guys, the next potential case for opening a deal with lower. We're waiting for the candle's body to be fixated above this level. So we draw horizontal line here and what matters now is the body of this green growing candle being fixated higher. But we need to also consider uh, this peak. Uh, it must be lower than the, this peak. But it seems here there won't be any divergence as the candle was formed uh, like that. So, okay, we click lower just because there's a level here. We open a deal not on a strategy, but we can afford it. <laughs> there's a qualitative case here. I hope you forgive me for trading not on our strategy. Just like that. Well, anyway, it's just one deal. So I think it's fine. Um, we we'll look at this awesome signal here. And the resistance level is drawn very good here. And the candle is formed just perfectly. This is a dodgy candle which shadow is pointed down. So there was a false attempt to break this level through. Uh, but we didn't break the level through. And there is a rollback coming. Wow. 12 seconds left to the deal's closure. Let's watch how it's going to be closed. Great guys, we get a profit and go on. So the final case, my dear friends, I really hope there won't be any surprises here. We just open another deal here, $100 one, so the balance is more than $10,000 for sure. Here's a divergence once again, we've already faced it, we draw the line through two peaks. In this case, the chart is showing the falling tendency. But on an oscillator, we didn't update this local minimum value yet. This one. So we're trading with higher. Wait for some small retracement from this level and we'll see the results. So we earned with no problem today. I think it's a great result we've got. Guys, if you want to trade together with me, just like that and earn any time, then don't forget that I have a free Telegram channel in which I'm running daily trading sessions. I think you made sure about my professionalism a long time ago, so all you left to do is to try the knowledge that I'm sharing with you on practice or just copy my deals. That's it for today, but I don't say goodbye for long because we'll meet really, really soon in my next video. Bye-bye!